Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and here we are in JE Advanced Solutions series and I have brought forward to you the first question of the paper one of 2021 on the same night when the question paper has released. So I couldn't go through the entire paper because I was just wanting to start off the solutions. Uh, uh, on, a, on an average, the paper was actually easier than expected, but it was conceptually a well enriched one. So uh, we'll start off with this question, which was actually based on an old video from this channel. I'll give you the details of which uh, in the current video. And as usual, JE tests people on conceptual clarity and defeats the students who actually mug up the formulae. Okay, so let's see the best method to solve this problem. The old subscribers of this channel would know how to solve this. So we'll try to keep it short and quick. So here's the question. If you are not yet uh, seen this question before, try to pause the video here. Give it a try for two or three minutes and do come back for the concept explanation. Also the video reference for the actual method that was discussed previously. Okay, so here I go with the formal wording of the question. If the smallest division on the main scale of a vernier calipers is 0.1 centimeters. 10 divisions of vernier scale correspond to nine divisions of the main scale as usual. The figure below on the left shows the reading of this calipers with no gap between its two jaws. The figure on the right shows the reading with a solid sphere held between the jaws. The correct diameter of the sphere using these two figures and the information is which of these options. It was a single option question. <clears throat> Let's see what could be the probable wrong answer by the students and also what is the correct way and the correct key for this problem. Okay, so uh, before I move forward, let me bring to your notice the way to solve this without mugging up the formula and actually understanding concept has long been taken in this particular channel and a series of two videos, one on the vernier calipers, you could see the thumbnail on the left and one on the uh, screw gauge versus vernier calipers challenge in the AITS select series. So link of these two are in the description below. So you want to have an elaborate understanding of the method I'm going to use please do watch them in sequence. Okay, so let me move forward with the solution. So a lot of things on the board as usual, just try to follow my lead and understand what I'm speaking. You'll be able to uh, go through the solution very easily. So the left side figure, I've tried to zoom it a bit and try to see the amount of error that is there. When the jaws are actually together, you will still have the zero of the main scale not coinciding with the zero of the vernier scale. That immediately tells you that gap between the two zeros, which I have marked here. Uh, let me zoom into it for your convenience. Okay, right. So I hope this is good enough for you to watch. So the gap here you could see is E. Let's call, let's call it as some error. Okay, I don't even care whether it is positive error or negative error because in the exam he didn't ask. Okay, so and you could clearly uh, understand that the divisions are all crooked here and they're not coinciding, but you can always easily find out the division which are coinciding. So here, luckily, in real life, it need not actually, but luckily, the two divisions actually coincide here. So simple logic is if I were to mark a line on this, you could see some red color that I have used to depict it from the zero of the vernier scale to this special um, matching position, right? This distance can be written in two ways. It can be written in the vernier scale divisions as six VSD. You can clearly count one, two, three, four, five, and six VSDs, vernier scale divisions. Also on the top, it can be written as this E plus this five main scale divisions, which is the essence of calculating the error if you had asked. You should not muck up the formula saying the sixth division is coinciding. Therefore, E should be six times least count. That doesn't always work. It may work in few cases. It doesn't. So it's not a foolproof formula. But the method just now that I've talked about is always the best way to solve it. The lower distance is equal to upper distance. The two parallel lines are always equal in length here. And that's what we are doing. So write it. Don't need to calculate E. He never asked what is E. We'll substitute it in the final answer. Okay. So let me go to the right diagram. Okay, in the right diagram, you should realize, right, in the old video also I've spoken that from this position, if you are trying to put that ball, you move this vernier scale towards right to fit that ball. So it is obvious that the distance moved by this vernier scale itself is the length that you require. 
it's 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 uh, the jaws are together and this concentrate on this zero if it moves by some distance to accommodate that ball then that distance moved itself is the length that you are uh, uh, trying to calculate so that distance is nothing but carefully observe this this zero while moving first of all travels a distance e to match with the main scale so it has already traveled e and from that position it goes on to another distance called r which is the reading actually okay right and one main thing you need to understand is here this is not a zero this is a three a part of the main scale is given okay so by how much distance did this vernier scale travel it traveled e on this side and also the total r you could see i have not marked r here i have put some dotted lines this r is measured from the original zero here okay original zero here so that's the value of r and uh, you could see in this particular picture just like the previous one the divisional coincidence happens here so the same thing lower parallel line is equal to upper parallel line logic if i use the total r reading plus 1 vsd as you could see here should be equal to the 32 main scale divisions remember 0 to 1 is 10 main scale divisions like that 0 to 3 would have been 30 another 2 here so these dotted lines represent that complete length which is not visible in the picture so r plus 1 vsd is 32 msd and as i told you the required diameter is this r plus this e and that's what i have written in the bottom okay let me take it up here yeah so if this e plus r for e it is 6 vsd minus msd so someone asks you what is the value of that error this yellow one would have been the answer again no formula just derived from basics and what's the value of r r is 32 msd minus 1 vsd just substitute these values 32 minus 5 is 27 msd and 6 minus 1 is the 5 vsd remember each msd is 1 mm each VSD is 0.9 mm because he said 9 MSD is 10 VSD. So it's easy to calculate 4.5 and you'll end up getting 3.15 centimeters. So let me go back and mark the option that's supposed to be correct. Okay, so this is the correct answer. A lot of students, when they uh, try mugging up the formula and then solve this, and some of them actually uh, answered it in one, some of my comment sections when the paper was released, answered it as 3.17 and if you belong to that category i would urge you to go back and watch these conceptual videos to get a clarity on this concept and if you find any book in which they just give you the formula uh, that's not the correct book to follow for the vernier calipers so please make sure uh, don't commit that mistake je always tries to test students on the understanding rather than the formula okay so this is something that you need to keep in mind Right. And uh, in order to connect with me, there are many ways apart from this YouTube channel, the Discord server, the Telegram, the website, and also the social media presence in Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All these links for your convenience I have arranged them in the About Me section of this channel, which should be on the right uh, most part of the channel uh, page. Okay. So just go there. All the links are arranged. Whichever you want to join and enjoy, you can actually connect with me. And uh, apart from the J Advanced Solution series, there are many parallel series running in this channel. So please make sure you go through them. The links of these are in the playlist description below. Also, regarding the rest of the questions, I feel the paper was easy. So until unless uh, there is something very important in the question paper, um, we'll not do a solution for this. Okay, so it's not challenging like last year 2020 paper. And so I would request you to in the comments uh, tell me which question from paper one or paper two clearly with the question number and also the explanation why i should do the video uh, you please uh, comment and if i like your explanation why it is important that it occupies time and space in our channel i will definitely come up with a solution and analysis of that question okay so uh, till then like share and subscribe to the channel and all the support you have been showing i am overwhelmed by that keep doing that keep sharing this uh, channel with your juniors also right that would help the growth of the channel thanks for staying this long and see you in the next video